Let's see. Uh huh. Give me that. Oh shit! What's going on, everybody? It's the one and only Vortex back at it with another banger. I hope you all have an amazing day. And today, guys, I got the nastiest, most overpowered center build in the game. Like, I don't even know what to tell y'all. Like, this shit is actually pretty insane. Uh, you know, like, it literally can do everything. You get a 99, like, driving dunk. You get a 99 and, uh, you know, defensive rebound, 99 offense rebound. Like, it's crazy. Like, you know, so this build is actually pretty insane. Uh, like, I highly recommend that you make this build if you are going to, uh, make a center build, right? Like, a big man build. Like, this shit is just overpowered. Uh, especially this year, I feel like, you know, they did better on the game. So, uh, like, I played the game and so far, man, all I gotta say is it's a huge like upgrade well not too much you want to say but it's you know better than last year at least and i really like it so um yeah it's been pretty good so far but like look this build is actually so dirty y'all that i i like i got gameplay for you all right so don't worry i'm not just gonna show you guys the uh you know how to make the build or you know all that stuff like the badges i'm gonna show you how to make the build i'm gonna show you the badges the attribute upgrades all that and i got some gameplay for you all right i got some part gameplay program gameplay and guys don't mind this is like only my player at a 60 overall when i first started to an 80 overall so these gameplays right here are just 60 to an 80 overall all right y'all so i'm gonna show you all the you know other videos and everything but um look so what you guys want to do is make a power forward all right so i didn't show you guys the beginning but you guys want to make a power forward 6 9 238 for the weight and 77 uh 7 7 wingspan as you guys just saw all right so i know you're like wait why is why are you making a power forward and not a center well look y'all let me tell you this year power forwards are just just like last year i think you know power forwards were uh you know better than centers because look i thought about it i did the center i did the power forward and let me tell y'all that at the end you're gonna get more attribute upgrades and stuff like that with a power forward and look i know you guys are like wait six nine that's a little too short though no y'all look when i tell y'all like y'all about to be moving fast like for a center you know how centers are usually you know slow big mans are usually slow when they're moving but this big man right here six nine is the right height to go and power forward is the right move to do because look when i tell you all that power forwards and the height like height especially height this year matters everybody's really making like a 610 and below nobody's making like 610 and above really on the height because there's really no need and the taller you make it the less attributes you get or whatever so look y'all just make sure you do what i just did go with a power forward 7 7 wingspan which is that's the max you can go and then go 238 on the weight all right so trust me check that out now uh for the second this is right here this is all your finishing your shooting, your playmaking, defensive slash rebounding. I mean, defensive rebound, and then you got the physical. All right. So, um, you know, these are very, very important. I was looking at it. I was going back and forth of which one I want to do, which one is the right build, or you know, uh, right ones to upgrade, right ones to you know make everything because it's really, really important, especially with the new badge system this year. All right. Uh, so, well, I'm not sure if it's really the new badge system, but it's different. It's kind of a, you know different but it's really really important for you all to make sure that you pay attention to these skills right here yeah I want you guys can go ahead and kind of you know just skip to where I really you know just have it all set out and you know which one I got and which one I don't so if you want to go ahead skip to that part before all the badges and everything but um right here I'm going to be really explaining everything and just like a little walkthrough on each one and why I put it you know so um yeah, look, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just to show you guys the attributes. So, um, as I said, really, the defensive rebound, you guys want to have it on 99. Offensive rebound, 99. All right, then uh, let me show you all all the way right here. Uh, I, I forgot what blocks I got. I got it all right there. But look, y'all, look, for the close shop and everything, I kind of did some editing at the end of the day. So uh, what you all want to do is uh, go ahead and go up to the finishing and put close shop. You guys want to, the close shot, you guys want to um really put it at a 78 and then the driving layup 87 then driving dunk 98 and then i think i went ahead and i edited that i fixed it i put it up to a 99 i think but um which i want to do after that is go up to standing dunk and put it at a 90 and then of course you got your post control post control really just have it at 30 it's nothing it's not really all that but then the shooting of course you just don't really want to do anything you just put 44 shooting uh mid-range shot you guys want to put 44 
all right the three uh you know three point shot is gonna stay zero we're uh you know we're a big man center whatever we're not really gonna be outside shooting so free throw is put out at 48 all right and then after that pass accuracy is gonna stay normal uh ball handling 48 speed with the ball is a 29 so I went ahead I as I said, I went ahead and I did some uh, change right here for the uh this right here is actually my official, so don't worry, I'm not gonna like I didn't change it after the video or anything like that. Uh it's my official build. So after that, which I really, really like about this year's is uh the primary takeover and the secondary takeover. So technically you get two takeovers. Um I was really like fighting between which one I should choose when it came down to the rim protector takeover and the glass cleaner takeover. And now look y'all. I know a lot of people like confused as well but i'm gonna explain it so don't worry um so once i thought about it right either way i'm gonna be able to get rebounds cool so just having a little boost of getting more rebounds is not really all that like yeah you can box out people yeah you can get more rebounds but i'm a center so either way i'm gonna get more boards so i went ahead and chose a rim protector as you all can see from my primary i chose it as my primary because Rim protector, bro. This the blocks this year is gonna be insane. I got a clip that I'm gonna show you all, right? Blocks are going crazy, so just go with the blocks. All right, like you're literally gonna lock them up. You're locking them up. Nobody's gonna be scoring on you, nothing like that. So go ahead with the primary defense for takeover. I mean, uh, rim protector. Now, secondary takeover is the slasher. You know, it makes sense. You don't need a, a rim protector. Uh, you know, takeover with a glass cleaner takeover. It doesn't make sense. You know, you just want one really kind of a center and uh, one to finish now with the slasher one it's crazy like once you guys get the slasher takeover it's a whole different level of boost man look i'm telling you it's a whole different level of boost it goes crazy all right and just ask me personally for me personally i played the game i tried it all out and it is like pretty insane so just go ahead choose the uh, takeover as you all you just saw i'm doing the badges right now but um yeah Rim protector takeover, slasher takeover, that's it this year, man. That's the stuff right there. Now, you could choose a glass gun if you want to, but I recommend rim protector. Now, for the badges right here, as you all can see, let me zoom out for you all just to show you all really. Actually, now it's good. I'm going to zoom in. So, um, I'm going to keep it zoomed in right here. All right, you got your badges. Now, the badge system is kind of different, as I said. Um, You know, it's not like before. Uh, It was kind of like easier to tell between the badges, I really want to say, but um, yeah. But anyway, go for the wizard right here. I put it on silver. All right, now look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, I feel like when it comes down to badges, you can choose what you want to put. Cool. Like, what I'm choosing right now for the badges, it's what I want to put, what I play better with. You know what I mean? So, and I'm telling you guys just right now, when it comes down to badges, it's not really important to copy like somebody else or see what they recommend or whatever. Just put the badges that you play good with. Put the badges that you highly, you know uh get more boards with or whatever like you know because each person uses the badge different so these are my badges right here though as you all can see now i could tell you all which ones i highly recommend all right so um i highly highly recommend bully so uh let me let me just zoom out for y'all real quick so i can show you like the whole entire hall of fame badges type of stuff right here i zoomed out uh you know so as i said i highly recommend that you max out bully for the finishing uh it's really really good uh it's just as i said once again though those are the badges i like you know recommend you know what i mean so bully on gold posterizer on hall of fame all right slithery you can just put on the bronze really um i have to keep going back and forth keep deciding on which one i want to really max out which one i didn't really want to max out so uh, uh let me just sit up for mine but uh you know as i said really depends on you so a uh, limitless uh take off i also highly recommend that you get that so the badges that i'm gonna put i recommend you get so um uh, i went ahead and i actually you know uh put fearless finisher as well because you want to be deadly in the pain you want to because although you are you know a big man you still want that finisher to be powerful when you have your badges before takeover so think about it these badges with takeover is gg so those were my badges make sure to check it out right there this this right here is what i like to see all right so i told you what i recommend you know badges you should put for finishing now let me tell you what i recommend to put for the uh defensive badges and stuff like that all right so of course you want anchor you know just put on silver 
uh brick wall on gold it does really really good on the tools you know three stuff like that so it's really good but mainly it's really good for the tools but um you know a center power forward whatever you know if you're a big man you should always have brick wall uh then we have minutes all right right here which i have it also on gold and of course work horse this one right here uh you could change it if you want really but i went ahead and put on hall of fame uh but you can go ahead and change it to which one uh you find better or something so you go ahead and put that on hall of fame now uh we jump all the way to the right side which is chase down artist um this one right here it's like i kind of want it between hall of fame and gold uh you know it's kind of really tough or whatever but i might change in the future i might change some of these badges in the future as i said but as of right now let's just go ahead we're gonna put chase down artist on gold and uh you know interceptor on bronze now, one thing you really, really want to do is the rebound chaser. Rebound chaser, baby. One of the deadliest badges in the game for centers. All right. For a big man. That's like common sense. Like, that's like really, really obvious. You guys want to go ahead and put it on Hall of Fame. All right. But um, as of right now, what we're going to do is just these are my badges right now. So, uh, these are the badges, as I said. Uh, go ahead copy or whatever uh put it but those are the badges i that i really highly recommend all right but um other than that there's really other there's no more other badges i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some part gameplay you know i was gonna show you guys some micro gameplay but you guys can actually test it out with your build i want to show you some like good stuff i want to show you the real stuff in the park baby you know what i mean i'm gonna show you guys the stuff in the park pro am stuff like that but um yeah let me go ahead and just show those clips Ooh, this right here look at this man Wow, give me that. Look at this again. Bro, this, look, I got the first, like, snatch, first block, like, just took it out of his hand in 2K, man. Like, oh, my God. But anyway, look at this. To be honest, you keep your hands up in the game. It's crazy. Look at this. Dunk over him, man. So I'm dunking over people, stuff like that. And, you know, I'm playing against the center right now. So, look, board, easy. And I can even hit post score, so I take it out. This is on the same place. So look, right there, post, bang, easy. So... I'm telling you guys, this build is nasty. Look, I get the board. Like, he's boxing me out, and I'm still able to go ahead and get a board, which is actually pretty insane. All right. All right here. My boy shoots. I got the board. Pass right back out. That's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys the best in the build in the game, uh, you know, with the crazy part game. So, look, every build I have, don't worry. Uh, most likely, I'm going to have a whole gameplay for it. But, y'all, I have some crazy, crazy builds coming out pretty soon. So, make sure you guys hold, go ahead Hit the subscribe button, right? I upload every and single week. I do a lot of 2K giveaways, glitches, and much more. All right, but uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. And guys, real quick, I do want to mention I'm doing a 2K23 giveaway. Yes, I'm giving away three copies of NBA 2K23. All you have to do to enter the giveaway, right, is hit the subscribe button, like the video and leave a lovely comment down below leaving a like on the video and leave a lovely comment is the most two important steps so make sure you guys go ahead hit the subscribe button like and leave a lovely comment to be entered in my 2k23 giveaway but um yeah as i said that's it for today's video guys i hope you all did enjoy all right and as as usual man thank you so much for all the love and support and as always it's been the one and only vortex and i'll see you all in the next one peace